Welcome to Lavile Stadium in San Francisco. Uh, if it's fine by you, Grim, I'll probably just stand as they call this game. And what's the issue, partner? Uh, let's just say I got a little too much of the San Francisco nightlife last night. <laughs> I don't remember the majority of it. Thank God, I was raised Catholic. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Malice Hellboys take on the San Francisco 40 Nightmares. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, Malice, you think we're going to now? You know what have? <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with you along with my partner, former player Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. And his life partner, the mini mutant head that lives on the shoulder of Bricks Jr. Hey, you just threw up on my shoulder. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, I get totally shit-faced. I am the world's most intoxicated man. Say that again. And it's first and ten. That's a catch for a four-yard gain. Second down and six. This is your brain, and this is your brain. I'm no doubt about it. That guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's what you talking about, pal. Third down and, well, good luck. Sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three. That, my friends, was an all pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Pounding the ball right up the gut, and you'll tire these guys out. First down. And it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room straight through the uprights yeah. 
Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And he breaks away. And it's first and ten. The punishing hit. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. He just got crushed. Second down and six. And then catch will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. First and eight to go. He picks up five on that play. Second and three. Running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Since when is that a penalty? Uh, since now, I guess, Grim. Third down and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. Great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. That 
that's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their feast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. He could go all the way. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Run it for a yard. <laughs> Second down and nine. And the defense goes for the jugular. <laughs> oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Oh, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. First and ten. I'm a Askerwood Silla. I am a Hillen of Silla. Second down and a lot. Passes it for maybe a yard. They've got to open up the offense here, Bricks. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And they went to the air and came up big. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm. That's bleak, Bricks. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. He's gonna be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. And not the worst feet, dirty prick. Look at him go. If the flash in the road run had a baby, and it was the fastest thing ever, this guy'd be faster. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about bad hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. One time, I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shock like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the frayed cord to the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. The point is... Ah, I forgot my point. Third down and six. Touchdown on that deflection. All 
boy, they're going for it. This could get uglier than the baby resulting from an orcish family reunion. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost dirty trick. And then he charged the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. Well, they keep the ball on the ground, and it paid off. First down. When I played the game, we'd let them get a first down just to hit them for more plays. It was fun. And it's first and ten. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. Crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And it's first and ten. And that pass is good for about five yards. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. Second down and five. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. And it's first and ten. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. Oh, Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Second down and ten. after that catch and score. Nice. Hey, get your rep. It's not murder to have a copyright. Take the hand. Do something about that rep, you pussies. Second down and a lot. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they? And that is a big gain. You know the defense wants some payback after that. Third down and, well, good luck. And he 
Seals that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First down and five. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. point attempt. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh boy, where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, I'm gonna go to a strip tease show, where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down, just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. of a threat. Got to keep him guessing. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. First and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. They are picking apart the defense today. That's a new set of downs. First down and one. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown. Touchdown. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's 
first and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. up the first down and it's first and ten not much there maybe a yard second down and nine Down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. First down and nine. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. for the extra point. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck up. That was just a one-time thing. First and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. It's two yard run before he stopped. down and nine. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. Might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in. You know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. I mean, and anything really tastes good. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Third down and nine. Defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Oh, I love the murder ball 30 trick. Oh, with the brutal hit. Point. And a well-placed cleat. And that'll be second down and four. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game.
Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. And that'll be second down and four. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Third down and three. from this far away, Bricks. Yeah, if he does it, they're gonna split his skull wide open. Straight through the uprights. Hey, man, he goes, I don't know. Go <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. Oh, the defender just knocked the ball loose. Well, no, that'll wake you up. Then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose! Uh, unless you're in a sleeping contest. Second down and ten. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down! And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. And that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. Third down and six. for two. Ten. 
and he just used his beast boost. Oh, what a brutal hit! When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, nah, they didn't taste so good. The defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. It's the two-minute warning. You know what that means, right, Bricks? Yeah, take a giant whiz and get in a fight in the men's room. And it's first and ten. He just picked the receiver's pocket, and the defense gets it. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Come on, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps on sides trying to mutilate the QB. And the whistle blows the play dead along with the quarterback. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. And it's first and ten. You know, this berserk dirty trick ain't fair to the QB. It's like inviting a hand eater to an end convalescent home. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. He had it for a second there. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. way to keep the chains moving that was beautiful well that's two timeouts burned and you have to wonder bricks are they desperate or are they in control yeah i'm speaking from experience grim but it really is hard to do both at the same time and i have mastered it he grabs it and picks up four on that reception And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as... That pass play was good for three yards. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. time left so the offense has to go for it this is not a gimme and they need a miracle play and they're getting them first down and it's 
First and ten. Now it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. San Francisco suffers a tough loss at home. But you know who's truly suffering? The people sitting in traffic after this game. They fought tooth and nail, but in the end, lose by three. It's a hell of a thing losing at home. They took away all they've got. And all they're ever gonna have. Yeah, well, they played like shit. Fuck them. Fuck them indeed, Junior. Let's go down to the field and see what that meathead has to say about his MVP award. Grim <laughs> Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so...